Hello, it's Mark again at Lake Superior College Center for Advanced Aviation here in Duluth, Minnesota. I got another uh, episode, or maybe the first episode, of what I'm going to call Quarantine Composites. I got this uh, tail cone here for a Cessna 182. It's got some damage. Uh, you can see it must have taken a rock or something. Um, damage here. So ultimately what I'm going to do, uh, the plan is I'm going to go in here, uh, well, let's start here. I'm going to stop drill this hole and kind of grind this away and make it be like a nice oval shape instead of this jagged uh, this jagged mess. It'll probably end up being more of a teardrop shape is what it'll probably end up looking like. So I'll go in there, clean that up, stop drill that hole, uh, clean up the inside, and then eventually what I'm going to do is lay, uh, lay a layer of glass inside there. So I'm going to lay a layer of glass inside there that contours uh, to that shape let that harden, let that cure, and then ultimately I'll have that as my backer and then I'll be able to lay um, probably another lay a layer of glass here, uh, some body filler, and then after all that one more piece of glass um, over the whole thing and then taper it and sand it. Um, so before I do any of that I'm going to have to clean up the inside, I'll have to sand the inside, I'll also have to sand this whole area, get it down below the paint. And the other thing I'm going to do is where it attaches to the rear fuselage here. A lot of these holes are cracked. I don't know if we can see that on the camera, but a lot of these holes have cracks in them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lay a couple layers of glass all around here on these holes and then re-drill those holes. Um, and then when I'm all done, paint it. So uh, I'll go ahead and start working on this and then I'll show you what it looks like after I get it prepped. I just wanted to take a second here and show at least a quick after shot. This is what it looks like after I cleaned up that gouge. Kind of made it, like I said, kind of a teardrop oval kind of shape. Sanded all the edges, made it nice and smooth, and I uh, stop drilled that one crack, which will have a backing of glass over the whole thing. Then I went in here and I cleaned, uh, cleaned the inside of the tail cone out and I sanded, uh, sanded all this right here. Uh, so it'll be nice and ready to accept a layer of glass. So we'll see what it looks like. So it's the next day. This is cured. I just wanted to show kind of a quick uh, idea of what's going on here. So the fiberglass is cured on the back side. And um, now I, I drew a pen mark on here because I was measuring how big of fiberglass pieces I would need. I got everything set up. I'm gonna, I got some ISO here. I've sanded all this. Uh, so now it's etched up and it's sanded. Uh, I'm going to clean it up, get rid of this pen mark, clean it up with ISO. Uh, I got a batch of resin mixed up here. I got fiberglass pieces that are uh, cut and ready to go. So I'm just going to lay those in there and then put some dry micro in there. Uh, and then we'll see what that looks like when it's all done. So like I said, uh, I would update. I went ahead and uh, put... Uh, Dry, dry micro in uh, in that spot. So you can see I got this uh, filled with dry micro, got it nice and sanded, it's nice and smooth and contoured with the rest of the shape of the tail cone. As you can see, I got a few pinholes in here and that's pretty normal. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more uh, dry micro, just kind of fill in some of those holes. Basically, I'm using that dry micro like it's, you know, Bondo or, or, or body filler. So we'll go in, we'll get that nice and smoothed out. Um, and that'll look that'll look really good when that's done. I've started sanding the whole tail cone. I went ahead and prepped um, the edges here. Again, I'm going to lay a couple layers of glass on the outside, just here at the end. Just probably I don't know, probably one layer, like an inch, and then another one, maybe like an inch and a half. Um, you can see I had to stop drill. We had a crack here. Um, all of these are you can kind of see are cracking outwards, and that's why I'm going to do this repair. Um, one of them, the crack was starting to come inward. So you can see I stop drilled, uh, stop drilled that crack right there. That'll get filled up. Uh, that'll get filled up with uh, um, with some with some dry micro resin. Uh, same with this this one where I stop drilled this crack right here. Uh, that'll get filled in with a little bit of dry micro and then there'll eventually be a layer of glass Over this whole area and that'll fill that too. So when it's all said and done this will all be smooth. I'll uh, 
continue sanding the whole tail cone, prepping it for paint. Do a couple layers of glass there. Uh, paint this thing and it should be uh, better than new. So I'll, uh, I'll show you what, what the results of that look like. Um, I have our tail cone. I went ahead and filled some, I put some body filler in uh, a couple little pinholes I had on here. And then I built up uh, fiberglass here and now I have peel ply on it. So what I want to do, um, see if I can get a good, good view of this. What I want to do is pull off this peel ply. Um, and now what this will do, even though this looks a little rough in here now, um, this will sand up really nicely. So now I'll just, I'll just come back and I'll bring a sander to this and I'll get it nice and contoured and I'll get it perfect. Then uh, the next step where the hole will be uh, will be to put a layer of thin glass, thin bi-directional glass kind of over this whole area. I'll cover from, I'll cover from where I had to stop drill uh, that crack kind of through this area. So that'll have a, a layer uh, a layer of glass over the whole thing. This part here, I uh, put a layer of glass on it. Cracks in here, and now this is peel ply. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take off this peel ply, which will come off pretty easy. strings in here, I'll kind of clean that up. Um, so now, I have, uh, I have this layer where I got two layers of glass on here, so that'll kind of beef up that area. I'm going to take a scissor and kind of trim, trim away this excess uh, fiberglass here, all the way across. Um, and then sand and then sand the whole thing, kind of contour it if I need, if there's a, if there's a spot where it just is a little uh, kitty wampus or, or a little messy, I'll maybe put in a little body filler, but I doubt, I doubt I'll need any more body filler on there. I'll just sand that, get that nice and, uh, nice and contoured, and then uh, redrill, redrill these holes where they were. Uh, and then, Probably sand the whole thing up a little bit, give it a coat, uh, give it some UV protectant because I'll need to put UV protectant paint where this new glass is. Uh, give it a coat of UV protectant primer and then uh, a coat of paint. <laughs> what I've done is I built in the fiberglass here uh, to build that up. This is where the that'll come out. So I got two coats of um, UV protectant on here and primer. I'm gonna go through and sand this, make it nice and smooth, um, and then maybe uh, spray uh, another coat of the UV protectant. Kind of depends on how much I remove with the sandpaper. Uh, and then the next step after that will be to paint it. Get a little bit more up. See where there's still. Okay, yeah. 